Ipswich Grammar School was founded in 1863 and since then has had thousands of boys pass through the school. One such boy was Alan Max Ladley, who, unknown to anyone at this time, would go on to become the school's 12th headmaster and the second school old boy to do so. Alan Ladley's profound impact on the school and the surrounding community can be clearly seen everywhere, even today, due to his transformation of Ipswich Grammar School into the school it is today. Alan Ladley was born on the 25th of March 1928 and attended Ipswich Grammar before leaving at the age of 15 to pursue a career in banking. However, Ladley returned to the school five years later to complete his secondary schooling. After leaving Ipswich Grammar for the second time, Ladley aimed to follow in his brother's footsteps, who was tragically killed in World War II, to enter the ordained ministry. Instead, he later decided that teaching was his true calling. After teaching at Sydney's Newington College for 16 years, Ladley finally returned to Ipswich Grammar once again, age 41. This time he wasn't a student, he was the headmaster. Alan Ladley's headmastership brought on a significant change to Ipswich Grammar School. Immediately after being instated as headmaster, Ladley quickly realised that in order for the school to be financially stable, enrolments would need to more than double, from 450 to around 1,100 pupils, or the school would risk closing down. The school began to increase its advertising campaign, placing advertisements even in overseas newspapers. This had a great effect on increasing Ipswich Grammar's both boarding and dayboy population. With a still further need for higher enrolments, Ladley needed to start searching for the extra pupils, as there was a problem with attracting full fee paying students. This was partly due to the competition from other Brisbane private schools and Ipswich Grammar's small catchment. One method employed to help alleviate this issue was the collaboration with Ipswich Girls Grammar School to run chartered bus routes to increase both schools' accessibility for students in Brisbane's western suburbs. Therefore, it is clear that, with the subsequent rise in enrolments, Ladley's impact on the school was vast, as well as being responsible for the large increase of the school community. With an increase of this many pupils, drastic work would need to be done to improve the school's lacking facilities. In 1972, work started on stage one of the brand new, current master plan for Ipswich Grammar. This mainly encompassed the construction of the school's most needed facilities. Stage one was completed in 1973 and included the Clive Women's Centre, a teaching complex that has since been transformed into the full-time auditorium, both Fox and Hancock boarding towers, and the Ladley Centre administration block. These massive changes to the school helped increase enrolments and allowed Ipswich Grammar's financial situation to improve. This shows the impact that Ladley had on IGS, as it is mainly thanks to him that the school is still thriving and is as big a part of the local Ipswich community as it is today. With Ipswich Grammar School becoming economically stable once again, Ladley had the foresight to start investing in properties and land. Many houses surrounding the school were purchased during the 1970s and 80s to house the school's growing number of boarding masters. Even today, almost 50 years later, these houses are still very much in use by many of Ipswich Grammar's current staff. As well as these, in 1980, Ladley also made the large purchase of land in the suburb of Brussels. In total, 180 acres were purchased for $275,000. This was mainly intended to accommodate for the school's growing need for more sporting fields and to turn the rest into residential land blocks. However, none of the schemes put forward during the 1980s were considered economically viable. Unfortunately, Ladley didn't live to see the start or completion of the projects he envisioned on that land. In 1994, work began on transforming the area into Grammar Arms Park. This consisted of over 200 residential lots sold throughout the mid to late 90s, with the proceeds going directly back into the building of the Brussels Sports Complex, opened in 2004. 
This shows that even post-death, Alan Ladley's vision for Ipswich Grammar lives on in the many additions he made to the wonderful school. Alan Ladley's impact while headmaster of Ipswich Grammar can be seen not only in the school grounds, where hundreds of students still make use of the many integral facilities he put in place, but throughout the local area. His effects during this time are clearly shown in the Ipswich community, with an entire suburb built on his visions, plans, and of course, purchased land. Even nearly 30 years after his death in 1989, Alan Ladley is still remembered as the perfect example of what a brilliant Ipswich Grammar School headmaster should be.